And then go see Vanille. What do you want now? I've come to help you remember what you've lost. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about, okay? You woke up from your crystal sleep with God's voice in your ear. He said you had to be the savior. But part of what made you lightning was missing. Leaving a big empty hole in your heart. Yeah, that's how it feels. It's like I've forgotten something important, something that I need. Huh, really? I thought you'd deny it. But it's okay. I'll help you remember. Indestructible crystal. Even in the sea of chaos, it never loses its shine. I will become an eternal epitaph. Your memory will survive for eternity within a crystal tomb. This shall be my legacy and my atonement. But most of all, my final hope. You wanted to protect her, so you fell into that crystal sleep. You became a tomb for a memory, a moment frozen in time, with Sarah's soul cocooned inside. So tell me, Lightning, where do you think Sarah is now? Yes. I remember now. She was there, in my heart. I had her memories. They were inside me. I took them into the crystal. She was with me then. We should have been together the whole time. Right. Now you're catching on. So, the hole in your heart? Sarah's soul. That's what I'm missing. And you know who took it out, don't you? Benavelza did when he woke you up to do his bidding. He must have messed with your memories, too and tried to make you forget about it. And so he had the perfect motivation. Or should I say, hostage. Huh. He's gonna hold on to her until I've done what he wants. Oh, I don't know if he thought it out that far. He's not very good with human emotions, that god of yours. Maybe he just threw her soul away and let it be swallowed up by the chaos. But he promised me. He said as long as I did what I was told, he'd bring Sarah back to me. If he lied, then I don't care if he is a god. I'll destroy I him. <laughs> now that's more like the old lightning. But do you really think you can take on a god? Well, I wouldn't bet against me. I might have found a way to shut him down. A last resort if all else fails. <laughs> You've been brewing up contingency plans. Sneaky, Lightning. Very sneaky. I haven't made up my mind yet. This world is finished. Soon it'll be I gone forever. And Benevelza is the only one who can build us a new one. We've got to change our outfits around again. When he's done, but I beat Caius, okay? So you'll play his game First try today. First try. New world. And you'll sit in judgment on him. You'll betray him and destroy him and steal the new world he labored to build. Is that your plan? Love it. Turning on God and making him a pawn in your own game? It's audacious. Oh, but little hope is going to be so disappointed. He really does trust you, you know. And you're going to betray him. Oh, you did think about that, didn't you? You turn on God, you turn on hope. Are you ready for that? Do you have it in you to yeah. fight him? It was like first thing Are today. You really prepared to kill hope? What's up, Tanners? What's up, my dude? You think I'm not? You've been exercising for us? You answered a question with a question. Where are a little heavy today? <laughs> Got ya. But it's not a big deal. It looks like hope and talks like hope, but it isn't hope anymore. Are you saying he's a fake? Sorry, 
studying for your interview. Is when is the interview? <sighs> Look, if you're gonna talk nonsense, this conversation is over. I've got better things to do. Fine, Lightning. Let me make it all clear. Look around you and see the lies. Monday. The Sarah you talked to was a lie. Hope in his arc is a lie. It's coming up. That's How that's long soon. Is it going to take before you wake up? Before you realize that maybe, just maybe, you're a lie too. <laughs> Sunday through Tuesday. It's all good, my man. Dude, I don't know. I've been thinking about like Mondays, maybe starting the stream at like 12. Like Mondays and Fridays, starting a little earlier since I don't get to stream nearly as much on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Which fucking sucks. Dude, I hate not being able to stream. Like, I so want to just take in, like, I have a backup phone. <clears throat> I so want to just use my backup phone as, like, a streaming phone. And then, uh, like, just stream the whole day while I'm at work. Because, like, I'm fucking, I'm just sitting there. Like, I'm sitting there and then I'm like, all right, man, what you want me to do now? All right, man, what you want me to do now? Like, he doesn't have, like, a list of shit that he wants me to do. He just, like, comes up with it on the spot. So I'm just kind of like... Whatever. But he is like, he is like super, super scared about people stealing information and all that shit. So I highly doubt if I was like, bruh, listen, I'm going to start streaming and like your whole store is going to be on the internet for people to see and to enjoy. He'd be like, mm -mm, mm -mm, security, mm -mm, nope, uh -uh, don't do that. So I know that'd be out of the question, which fucking sucks. Cause I would totally do that. Um, I mean, is there anything to do before the last day? Like, I don't want to do the same side quest just over and over. But I feel like I'm wasting my days if I if I just sleep through them. software quality assurance too that sounds actually pretty good i would enjoy that going through and making sure people like coded shit and making sure people work or making sure the programs work the way they should i'd be down for that 100 percent all right <clears throat> so red and black outfit here we liking that hat <clears throat> all right for this I actually think this would actually be pretty cool if we just did yeah. Did like that. And then white mage with the flower looks pretty cool. The shield like really looks awkward though. But that's fine. No big deal. Okay. So I don't think there's anything to do short of just like Sleeping it off. I don't think that's what we're just gonna do. Sleep till our last day, and then we'll go see Vanille. Tenors, what's the uh, what's the annual salary on that position? Dude, and I got paid today. Somebody paid me 
to do work for them for the first time since April. Whoa. Yeah, that's pretty fucking... That's pretty beefy, dude. I'd be ecstatic as shit for that job. You better study up good for this interview. Welcome to our... Because not a full developer. Hey. But, I mean, even if they knocked off, like... Shit, it, like, in in my current, like, area that I live in, if you were to make 20000 less than what you said right there, you would still be one of the highest paid people that live here. So, that's, that's pretty amazing. Like, my girlfriend actually has the best job that is offered around here without a degree. She's currently in school to go um, to be an accountant. Um, but she doesn't have anything except a high school diploma. I'm the same way myself. Back. Um, but she has the best job that you can really get around here without a degree. And she gets paid roughly like 42-ish. So, I mean, if you can imagine, like, 75 a year is, like, just insane. It's nuts, man. 50k a year, see? That's, that's more than, like, anybody makes around here. Even at the job that she's at now, people that have been there, like, 20, 25 years, they get paid close to that. Um, there's probably a few people at that, but not much higher, which is nuts. It's crazy. No, he didn't tell me. So 50k as a teacher. See, the teachers around here only get paid like 30 a year. I was making as much if not more if you counted my bonuses um i was making more than teachers did running stores for taco bell which is kind of sad like if you think about it i think teachers should get paid out the ass but it's insane how they do not because i've seen what teachers like go through like the amount of work that they actually like take home and shit is insane i'm sure there's ways to do it where you ha don't have to take it home but even then i think teachers should get paid more than taco bell employees nice work light. Me, though. Dude, that's crazy. Seven to midnight would be rough. <clears throat> but I mean, then again, as long as it's something that you're like... As long as it's something that you're super into and you're super motivated by that type of work, then I'm sure it wasn't, like, terrible. Because, like, honestly, like, even though what I'm doing is very minimalistic on impact I mean it's still something that I halfway enjoy and I can go in and be good at it so it doesn't feel like like I'm working all day really freshmen are a pain dude I can imagine they're all getting fat with their freshman 15s
I don't even know what day I'm on. Are you doing okay, Light? No! I'm not doing okay. And you should feel bad for asking me that. Marshall Monk. How come I didn't get that last time? Whoa. Transforms Punt into a powerful ability whirlwind kick. Increases maximum HP by 10. Physical damage by 5. <clears throat> so do you think we should go with something like this? Because Punt level 2 actually sounds really cool. Charge Strike level 2... And then we could just put some some beefy uh, attacks on here and then a meta guard just like that. I think that would be pretty cool. Plus, I mean punt's not gonna actually be punt. That looks awesome. Um. Bam! Two days left. Two more times. Finally! It's rude to keep people waiting. This girl, she's got something she wants to ask. What girl? Are you talking about that shadow? Yep, and guess what? It's someone you know. Okay, you can come out. <sighs> hey, can I see your homework? You will. There are people here. Dude, they I want don't to see you. I don't remember in school ever like asking to like copy off of people very Call often. Oh shit. Um, but I was you that kid you know what you're really feeling, what you need. that uh, I slept you. in my um, for help from anybody. U.S. Civics class. Of course you aren't. You're God's handpicked savior, right? You don't need friends or even family. That's why you can't find Sarah. I literally slept every single day. Whatever. Every day. Listen, you are the savior. All the way until like a week before the semester ended. And I went up to the teacher. He was a volleyball coach. He was a pervert. I fucking hated the guy anyways. And I was like, hey, so could you give me the work that I'm missing? And I'll try to like finish up whatever I'm missing. And I hadn't submitted like hardly anything the entire semester. He literally gave me a stack of papers. Like it was a thick fucking stack of papers. And at the time, my my dad and my stepmom had just got together. And... Uh, my stepbrother was in, he's the same age as I am, and he actually kept all of his stuff. He was like one of those guys that kept all of his papers just in case. And uh, I took his and like copied like 90% of that packet. He ended up coming out with a B. The guy actually gave me a B for doing it, but. I fucking hated that class. Hate it. You should listen to her. She always tells the truth. Right, not like you, but she's telling me that I'm missing something. 
Well, yeah. Yeah, B was actually really out. generous. <clears throat> he should have. He should have failed me. I, I mean, he swear, should have. Sometimes I lose my faith in you. You don't even but, know the first thing about your own soul, but you think you can. I guess I'm glad himself. he didn't. He probably didn't even want me in the class anyone. again. That's probably why he just passed me. He's like, fuck if it. I don't want this kid in here next me. semester. Get him out of here. What is it I'm missing? It doesn't work like that. It doesn't mean a thing if you can't figure it out on your own. I have to save myself. But how? But you see, Kimberly, you're on break. And when you're on break, Light. you have nothing else me? to do, right? Are you hurt? It's all right. I'm fine. But... Look, I said I'm fine. Now just drop it, all right? If you're sure. But you will tell Damn, me if something some of them is still wrong. Failed. Like... Dude, I am so ready to get out of this fucker's class. This guy, he just... I swear to God, he is like the most ancient minded person I have ever fucking been in class with. You only get to take your tests. Well, it's not the fact that you can only take it once. That I can understand. Only being able to take a test one time is perfectly okay. But the fact that like I can't go back and review my answers, I can't, I can't do anything. Other than, like, sit there and just hope that I do good enough. And then the fucker, like, takes all of my grades, and if I don't do it, like, exactly how he fucking asks, it's a zero. Like, there was, there's no partial credit, like... Even if I did half of the assignment and didn't do the other half, give me a 50. It's not a passing grade. It's not something I'm happy with, but fuck. Would I be pissed if I had a, a four-page paper? No. I mean, at the time, yeah, I'd be mad, but you... Sid Rains. It gets worse and worse and worse. Like, I mean, you... You learn to just that was once a man's name, but now blow it off like nothing. fuck it. <laughs> it's only four pages. Into the swirl of chaos. I take his form as a convenience, but I'm no more than a puppet. <clears throat> All right, so who's pulling your strings, Bonavelza? No, not God. I am the voice of many of the countless multitude who call chaos home. I am the speaker for the dead. Tell me, Savior. Do you know the ritual they call Soul Song? Vanille is planning to perform it at the cathedral. She says it'll release the dead from their suffering. I guess that means you. Vanille has been misled. There is a truth she cannot see. A truth that lies within the unseen realm. What do you mean? What truth? You do not understand the role of chaos. I mean... Huh? I submitted an assignment, fifth, or I submitted part of an assignment, the least important part of the assignment. I submitted it 15 seconds too late, and he gave me a zero on the entire assignment. Almost a thousand words for the entire assignment. I submitted the 250 words 15 seconds too late. Zero. I hate this guy. No, I didn't email him. Because he's he's just going to give me that same stupid ass response. Well, a deadline is a deadline. If you missed it, you missed it. Which is why they return to it when we Whatever. Die. I'll just fucking eat the grade. I just I'd just rather just not make any waves, do whatever I have to do to pass and just get the fuck out. Like I don't I don't even want to fucking deal with him. I think this is my only humanities class that I have to take. No, it was a it was a discussion thing. So like, 
to for him to grade it, he actually had to read my responses. Why would they lie to her? They preach salvation. Because he even advertises, he's like, um, he's like, if you Google your answers, I will give you a zero. And I was like, dude, how are you gonna know if I Google my answers? Like, I will bullshit this better than anybody you know. But I guess turning shit in late is, you know, where I come short. Is this what you all want? It is, but it is not God's will. If you answer our prayer, it will mean defying Bonavelza. And as far as like math, I fucking adore math. I love numbers. I've always loved numbers. My girlfriend's the same way. I mean, she wants to be an accountant. She loves them so much. And I've always loved numbers and logic, so programming is just kind of a no-brainer. But it is something that you have to you have to like build up to. Yes, the chaos unites humanity, a thread woven through all our lives, and it's a power God cannot see. Its potential is limitless, and that makes it more powerful than he is. But now you're going to tell me that it's nearly impossible to tap into. Am I right? Yet it is possible. No one can control the chaos. If you want to make the power yours, you must have the help of those who are inside it. You know what needs to be done. You know whose soul you have to find. You mean Sarah? Are you saying I'll be able to reach her? You must. With the chaos, anything is possible. Find the invisible bonds that unite us across life and hmm. death. Do that, and you will have all the power you need. was the key to defeating God. If I wanted to use it, I needed Sarah's help. But Sarah, how can I make you hear me? I reach out with every fiber of my being, but is it enough? Can I do more? If I throw myself into the abyss, if I cry out to you, will you hear me, Sarah? Will you answer? So, new plan. <clears throat> We're gonna fucking take down God and everything he stands for. You survived another day. Shut up, fake hope. Hello? Quake. Non elemental damage to all enemies and launches them into air. Extends stagger time. Meh. It's okay, I guess. It really feels like the end now. Soon it'll be over. It's been dying for 500 years. I wasn't talking about the world. Then what? Never mind. Time is short. Every minute's precious now. Let's not waste any. <laughs> Damn. Welcome to our <laughs> Yeah. I mean, like I just think some things will always come to people. <clears throat> A lot quicker than others will get it. I mean, everybody's brain interprets things differently. So, like, <clears throat> my girlfriend thinks that she is stupid. She thinks that she is just 100% unable to learn certain concepts. And I tell her, you are not unable to learn it. You are just refusing to learn it. It's not 
it's not hard once you sit down and figure it out that is the hard part though is figuring it out once you do that you're good can't tell if this is the day it needs to be on or if it's the next day so just in case i'm gonna run over here and check doesn't look like it's this day Hear ye, hear ye. People of the clergy, listen up. Okay. I mean, honestly, like... I didn't know what I wanted to do until 2017. <laughs> Honestly, I literally did what everybody else told me that I should be doing. I went to school to be a networking administrator, I guess technically is what it is. Networking administrator. Um, I did it for almost two full years. I almost got a degree. Uh, I'm 25. Um, I almost got a degree in it. And then it wasn't going to pay. Right. Vanille will be getting ready to perform the soul song. She's going to liberate the dead and release them from their suffering and despair. Hang on, hang on. Hey, Light? Uh-huh. When Vanille saves the dead, what'll happen to me? Hope? Kapoo. What's going on? What about my soul? Um. Like the the degree that i was going to get i was already making that much money doing what i did and i knew that it wasn't something that i was going to be like enthralled in so i stopped going to college like i literally just said fuck this i'm not doing this anymore and uh i probably shouldn't have in hindsight like if i would have stuck with it and then had that degree day, please hear my last prayer and then built upon that with the degree that i'm going for now you know i would have been fucking just That'd have been perfect, but I mean, 